Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to talk about how you can create relationships between tables. So first of all, let's have a look at the tables in this database. Customers is just a list of customers. There's 12 people, that's all that is. Then I've got a table of products. If I go into products, just list in a few products with a value and nothing special in there. But what I haven't got in here is a customer ID field to link a sale from a customer to this. So the first one I want to do is just create a simple one-to-many link so you can see how that would work. So I want one customer can buy many of those products. Now I need to get into the product table and just go into design on that. Right click design and add customer ID. Customer ID and I need this to be it's a number field it's an auto number field in the customer table so just open the customer table just to go into design on that for a second that is an auto number look and it is the primary key which means it can't be duplicated however in this table this isn't the primary key that's the primary key this can be duplicated even though it's a number field it can be duplicated now, I also want to create a look upon this so I can see who's who, because at the minute, if I just save this table and click on the link there, this is all blank. And if I click in there, I have to type a customer, a customer ID number, and I don't know who, which customer is which number. So that's what I want to do. Into design, and on this one, create a lookup down the bottom there. It says text box, go to the end, drop the arrow down. I'm going to select combo box and it's going to look at a table i'm going to look at the table customers so i need to tell it that underneath so I'll click underneath and then i've got to select the table customers there we go customers the bound column is one but i want to see four columns so i'm going to say four and then column widths i want it to be two centimeters now, if you're in the US, that'll be inches, so two inches would be too big. And where it says automatic there, I'm going to put that to 10 centimeters. And I'm not going to limit to the list, because this is just a lookup. But let's have a look at what's going to happen now. If I click on save and then look up, I can select a customer. So he bought that. He bought that. And then number two, I'll go for number two, uh, number one again, should I say. He bought that. And I'll just do another product. I'll just do project there. So I've got 10 of them at £100. And then put customer number six there. So that's what that is. Look up. Now, I haven't created any relationships yet, but that lookup sort of does. If I close this down, now to create the, a relationship between those, so that you could, so the whole database looks at that relationship between customers and products, you need to go to here. You've got external data, database tools, and then relationships. That's where you need to go, and then you drag the tables on. You've got on both sides, but drag them on. So there's customers. And there's products. I'm going to open these up like that. So you can see all the fields. There's all the fields in the customer's table. You don't have to do this. And then all the fields in this table. Well, they're all shown anyhow. So one customer, dragging it across to customer, can buy many products. So I'm letting go there. And it comes up with this relation box. And what I'm going to do, so it's picking up table customers customer id related table products customer id which is what i want it's picking up a one to many link which is also what i want that's good because if that comes up with anything other than that i need to stop there i'm just going to cancel this and try and make that happen cancel so if i go from customer id to price that would that still work i need to go from a date field i think to um product that should come up with indeterminate yeah you can't you don't want to be carrying on if it comes up with that 
because that means it's not recognizing what type what type of link it is cancel that so i'm going from customer id to customer id now it's got this enforced referential integrity i'm going to tick that because what that means is i can i cannot create a customer in this table like customer 56 if customer 56 does not exist in that table so this is a safety thing i think you should always go for that when it won't let you do that is because there is already a customer in this list that doesn't exist you would have to stop open this table and just cross reference do a query unmatched records query to make sure you clear this out so there's no unmatched records in this table and then come back and tick that and then you're going to have a safe setup now the other two are optional so basically a cascade updated fields so every time you update something it cascades through all the tables and then delete the delete option careful with that so if you deleted a customer and you've ticked that it would delete all the products sales if you like so that's not great so i'm happy with this now you've got join types here i'll cover join types on a later session but i'm just going to create that now and you'll get this one to many link one customer can buy many things that's all I want. I'm clicking save. And then I'm going to close this. And then that is now linked. If you need to break that link, you just go back into database tools, relationships, and break the link. Now you don't break it by pressing delete and delete, which you might think you have because that hasn't broken the link. If I go and close this down, um, it's asking me to save it. I'll say yes and then come back into it and then relationships and then if i show all relationships it still remembered it so even though it asked me to save the fact that i deleted these it didn't actually delete the relationship which is this so to delete a relationship you need to click on this line and press delete yes and then do that delete delete and save that so now if you close this down Come back into it relationships and then show all relationships no, nothing appears because you've deleted it correctly it's a bit of a weird one that but that's what you have to do there are three main types of relationship you can create in access one to many that i've already done a one-to-one -one where one customer can only buy one thing for example and then a many-to-many -many relationship where you have what's called a join table. So I wanted to show you what a one-to-one -one would look like. If I bring on customers, like so, customers and products, let's go for that. So basically, a one-to-one -one bit would be like this. If I grab the ID field to that ID field, primary key, primary key, it comes with one-to-one. -one. Remember, you can't have a duplicate in a primary key field so if you pull one primary key to another primary key you can't have you can't have more than one so one customer can only buy one product one project manager can only work on one project that sort of link so i'll just cancel that because i don't want that now the many to many is what i'm going to go for in this database because i want to create a sales table so let me just get rid of these two and save there's another link there. Now I need to, I'll leave this window open and go to create table. So I want to create a table that's going to be called sales. So sales ID first, that'll be an auto number. And then it'll also be the primary key. Now what you have to do with these join tables is basically put primary key fields of the other tables in it. So I'll go for product, Product ID, which has got to be a number field. It's an auto number field in the other table. Customer ID, um, capital I ID. Again, it's a number field. And then staff ID, number field. And then I want quantity. And what what I'll do later on is a query where I'll work out the actual sale price. Quantity wants to be a number field as well. So you've got 
all of these now you can do lookups on these so you know what they are because at the minute this is all going to just be number fields so if i do a lookup you can see how that would pan out so combo box so this is the product id field it needs to look at the product table so i can see what the product is tbl products there it is at the bottom and i only need I think i'll go for four keep it standard two centimeters changing automatic to 10 centimeters and then i'll save that tbl sales i'll call it tbl sales and then i'll do the lookups for the others same sort of thing customers you don't have to do these lookups because you can later on as you develop your database so this is the customer id you don't really work at table level but it's just good practice to go through this so i want customers and i want four so show me the four two centimeters and then auto 10 centimeters and again the width is totally up to you save that and then staff the last one look up now i've only got a few cards. i don't need four columns for staff i don't think so it's a staff table tbl staff and the bottom there um one two three i think you can come back and change this if it's not right and then 16 for that uh, 10 for that should i say right save that and then have a quick look to see if that would work so you're dropping that list down that one works customer id that one works sale uh, staff id they all work product id it's got the quantity and yeah i'm not really fussed about that i could have just gone with two to be honest but never mind that'll do so this is my sales table um i better make some sales so if i go um, excel for customer two and staff id one dealt with that and they bought 10. i'll do another one so we've got two records at least so word and three and three and ten also so there's some data in there so now what i want to do is create the relationships between all of that so i need to bring customers on i need to bring products on i need to bring sales on because that's the join table and i need to bring staff on and then i need to open these up so i can see it so this is how your whole database will work really you might want to have done a little diagram of this before so this um, sales table is like the joining table so one customer can have many sales so customer id to customer id he's picked it up as one to many i'm going to tick that remember i said that's really important create i want that symbol one to infinity not just a line without the numbers that's what i want then product one product can be sold many times same thing one to many ticking that create that's it and then one member of staff staff id to staff id can sell many many products like that so you've now got a joining table with these three tables coming into it feeding into it like that i'll save that relationship what you can now do is create a query based on these four tables so i'm going to do that i'll close this down go to create query design and then bring those four tables into the query grid area so you've got customers you've got products you've got sales and you've got staff now there's lines all over the place here because it's remembering the lookups as well i want to get rid of these lookup lines because it might cause well it will cause a bit of confusion so one to many is what you want the lookups are these i'm going to get rid of that that's a lookup as well on that one delete that line so you need to position this i think in a in a, in a way that makes sense for you so your sales goes in the middle customers and staff are coming in like that and products sitting like that so you've got your relationships there so now if i double click on sales id and product id for a start and then go for product from the product table and price let's see what that looks like if i 
run that I get that information so that's good so it's working so now I want to know the staff in fact not the staff the customer ID and then from the customers table first name and surname and then I want the staff ID first name and surname for that like so let's have a look at that run that it's now telling me who that is now that is how that all works so this is your sales record so now if I come down and select because I've got lookups here still product there it's put it in it's put the price in what I haven't brought down is the quantity of sales so let me go back into in fact I'll have to follow it through because it's going to say there's a, a number missing so you notice when I select these numbers it's putting the information in for me automatically let's go back into design because what I need out of here is quantity so I've got the sales product product let's go quantity let's just drag this into um after price quantity there let's have a look at that I'll buy 20 there so now this is going to tell you all the information you need I'm going to save this query and later on I'm going to do a calculation in this query to work out what that actually is in terms of price total cost if I save this I'll call this QRY sales details and then clicking OK to that and then closing that down so that's all I want to talk about in this little session, how you can create a relationship with a one-to-many, a one-to-one -one if you need a one-to-one, -one, or a many-to-many -many with a joining table, which is what I've just done there. And you can see the finished article there. Now, this whole database is going to look at that relationship, and you may well add to that, and it might become quite large, lots of linked tables. But what I always suggest to people is that you look at this and you understand how the database works. If you look at this, and your database and it's all spider's web you've probably not got it moved you've not got it organized right in this case of moving things around so it follows some sort of logic in your head and then you save that now because i've moved that it's probably going to ask me to save it it is so it's always going to remember how you left it so thanks for your time on this one i'll catch you on the next one